Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Logitech desktop speakers with built-in Bluetooth. Now, I did not get these as a review unit. They are actually ones I purchased for myself, actually for my grandma. Uh, she has some hard of hearing. We're gonna use the Bluetooth feature here to connect to her TV to be able to help her be able to hear better for uh, the TV by having these speakers a lot closer, a lot louder. Now, if you want to find these, I don't like talking a lot about pricing because they change so rapidly, but you can find the current pricing of these on Amazon in the link down below and in the first pinned comment. I will say these are middle upper range um, speakers for your desktop. There's definitely more expensive ones. There's definitely a lot cheaper ones, but these have a lot of features. and definitely make them a little bit more of a middle upper range. Also, if you can help us out, help us uh, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. By hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that thumbs up, doing one or both, you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So hopefully YouTube suggests our content to more people. With that said, let's get into the review. Now, these are very simple. Now I'm about uh, six foot tall. You can see my hands, probably about two of my hands on this. They are very um, decent sized speakers. I wanna say a little bit bigger than the older speakers. One of the big things I like about this upgraded version, other than the Bluetooth, is it's one kind of solid color. There's a little bit of a grayish tone here, but the old ones used to have white trim with black casing. I kind of like this gray and black look a little bit more. I did see some people posting photos of a white version of these. I'm not sure if Logitech is still selling that. I couldn't find it on Amazon at the time of this recording, though it's not unusual with the shortages and supply chain issues that it's gone now. We'll be back tomorrow, so keep that in mind. Now it does come with an aux cable here, a very nice length, of, um, about over six foot cable here for controlling uh, traditional connection to your speaker through the uh, aux cable or a phone or wherever it may be. Also comes with a power cable and that's really all that it comes with. Now I did see a lot of people ask like, Luke, can you put this in different, you know, two different sides of the room? No, there's actually a cable here that connects them. Though it's a pretty long cable for desk or you know, relatively small tables, this cable is more than long enough. And that is because the power cable actually plugs into this jack right here, focus, there we go. And then that power cable, the power goes down this line with the audio to the other speaker. And then right here in the middle is the aux cable here for you to be able to plug in wherever you want. Now again, you don't need to use the aux. You can actually connect to, there we go, two different Bluetooth devices. To turn it on, you just turn the dial over, you hold the Bluetooth button until the light flashes for pairing, and there you go. Now you have Bluetooth connected. Multiple devices, if you wanna switch between devices, you just turn the audio off on one and you switch to the other. It maxes out at two devices being connected. Keep that in mind. There's also a headphone jack, which I do like. Uh, sometimes I do prefer not blasting the sound my kids are sleeping or there's people here, I just go and I put in the headphones, which allows me to listen to whatever I'm working on, editing videos and more when there's a lot of noise happening around, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the kids are all sleeping and I don't wanna be waking them up. They used to be really important in my old house because the office was right next to the kids' room. So it's a cool, nice feature that they do include a headphone jack there. And that again, gets controlled by this volume. So you do have the volume control on the TV, and then you can adjust this to very standard volume slider. Now, there is a base in this, and there is a very good mid-range. I would say the high range is also good. These are definitely not Bose Wave radio quality speakers, but for desktop speakers, these are some of the best ones on the market, I honestly believe. The only thing that um, you'll kind of notice with it is, again, there's only two ports here. So with two, um, you're not getting the true high low and mid-range breakout on it. But it's good quality. It's very good quality audio. I'm very, very happy with the audio quality. I think unless you're somebody who is the most sensitive of sensitive audio, um, lossless audio kind of um, seeking, you may have issues. But for my computer, to edit videos, to listen to a YouTube video, maybe play some music, listen to the radio, this is great, this is fine. This does an excellent job. I really love how powerful it is. Um, I Often in my videos, when I'm editing for people, I will crank up the volume a little bit to try to hear the background to see if I'm having any type of distortion or anything in, above the normal range. Because when you, um, some people really like to crank the volume and you wanna make sure it sounds good for all. 
So overall, two thumbs up, good price. Love the fact that they added Bluetooth to this version where the old version did not have. But beyond that, I love that they kept this very simple form factor. Now, one thing about this is if you do plug this in or have this on your desk where people sit behind you, it's not the most beautiful from the back. This is really nice to putting up against a wall or hiding it under your desk or whatever. So keep that in mind. Um, and they are wired together. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to find these on Amazon, check out the show notes down below. I'll pull a link to them. this on Amazon. And you can find that in the first pinned comment in the show notes down below. So until next time, help us out. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Take care. We'll be back with another video real soon.